Vandana and I'm in fourth grade and 10 years old. I will be doing Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in a village near a forest. Whenever she went out, she wore a red riding coat, so everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. One morning, Little Red Riding Hood asked her mother if she could visit her grandmother. She lived on the other side of the forest. Her mother agreed. She packed a small basket of baked goodies for her grandmother. Her mother warned her, go straight to Granny's house. Do not stop on the way and do not talk to any strangers. Don't worry, Mom. I'll be careful and we'll be back soon. In the woods, Little Red Riding Hood noticed some lovely flowers. She forgot her promise to her mother. She picked a few more flowers. Suddenly, a wolf appeared from the bushes. What are you doing here, my dear? The wolf uh, asked in a friendly voice. He wanted to eat her. I'm going to visit my grandmother on the other side of the forest. The Red Riding Hood replied. The wolf had an idea. He thought he could eat the grandmother too, so he ran as fast as he could. He took a shortcut and reached the grandmother's house first. He knocked on the door. The grandmother thought it was Little Red Riding Hood. She said, come in, my dear. I was waiting for you, and opened the door. The wolf entered the house and pounced on the grandmother. The grandmother fainted in fear. The wolf hid her in the closet and wore the grandmother's nightgown. He slipped into bed and covered himself with blankets. Meanwhile, Little Red Riding Hood, who was smarter than the wolf, picked up a big stick from the forest. She hid it inside her coat. She hurried towards Grandmother's house. Little Red Riding Hood knocked on the door and said, It's me, Granny, the wolf said in a gruff voice. Come in, my dear. What's wrong with your voice, Granny? Oh, I have a cold, my dear. What big ears you have, Grandmother. The better to hear you, my dear. What big eyes you have, Grandmother. The better to see you with, my dear. What big teeth you have, the better to eat you with. He leaped out of bed and pounced on Little Red Riding Hood. Before the wolf could reach her, Little Red Riding Hood brought out the stick and smashed it on the wolf. Just then she heard a sound from the closet and saw Grandmother inside. She said, thank God you are safe, Granny. They both hugged each other and they sat down to eat all the baked goodies that Little Red Riding Hood had brought with her. The end.